goes. Uh, this is the first of uh, a series of tutorials for MicroStation Connect Edition. This will be specifically for a beginner level, and it will co continue to be more advanced as we move forward. So first, I would like to go through the functions of the mouse button. In MicroStation, in order to activate a function, you need to left click. For example, let's demonstrate on the place line tool. You left click on it under the home tab. Then now you've got it selected and you should see this. All right. Left click somewhere on the screen to select the starting point and left click again to select an ending point. Now it will not cancel unless you right click. So the way to cancel the function is to right click. When you right click, you'll see that the, the line is drawn from the point that you want. If you would like to continue to draw the line, you keep left clicking at the point you'd like to go. And then when you're done, you right click to cancel. And there's also another thing where you double where you click both of the mouse buttons at the same time and this is called tentative and this usually selects that particular area in the element for example if you do it here you should see this this will also give you the coordinates here so it's a useful way to give you coordinates and yeah um the next thing is Let's start with drawing shapes. Now, shape tools are all here. You can see the polygon tools, the block, left click. Now, if you don't want to have this color inside, you can turn on the turn off the fill type. There you go. Left click again. Now, with this tool, that remains active. So you need to right click to reset. Uh, sometimes right clicking doesn't work, right? So if right clicking is not working, you need to click element selection. Yeah. So that's another method of cancelling the function. Now, if you want to draw a circle, here's the ellipse tools. Uh, you can use place circle tool, left click. When you move it to the right or to the left, resources. If you want to enter a specific value, if Aki draws on down there, all you have to do is just type in the value, for example, 5, and then left click, and that gives you the, uh, the specific size that you're looking for. Now, 5 is, mind you, when you measure here, it will tell you. So, do you see how it's 10? That's because 5 is actually the radius, not the diameter. All right. So you have to keep that in mind. So when you draw a circle and you type in 5, it actually gives you a 10 diameter circle. If you type in 2.5, it gives you a 5 diameter circle. So keep that in mind. Right? So um, also when you're drawing lines, you can specify the value. So if you left click, that's a point. Right? You can specify, for example, 5, which is 5 meters, right? left click and it'll draw a five meter line and now if you want to go down or up right if you press enter it's like pressing f8 on autocad the ortho tool and it locks in but you need to make sure that uh, you place the mouse in the direction that you want the line to go in all right so for example if i press this code or press element selection cancel the tool for example, if I click the mouse, right, if I'm going left and right, then I want to lock in, I'll press enter. All right. If I'm going up and down, you know, I'll lock it in in either direction, i press enter to lock it in. Now, if you, put, uh, if you enter a value when you're going down, even if it's showing as negative, if you type in positive, it's still going to draw it down. If you're going up, if you type in minus 10, we'll take it down. If you type in 10, we'll go up. All right. And that's how you basically set the values for the line. Um, what other